It's time once again for the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament where friendship has become a big issue. Um, Watermelon just won this auction for this card and it allows you to take along two friends. I was reading that wrong before. Um, I thought that it, it had to have a friend thing up here in order for someone to come along, but I guess the result is you get two new friends and it can be anyone. So every single person uh, needs some friends, multiple friends, four in most cases, Kaz and Kat need six for one of her goals. So Watermelon has to choose between all five to see who she wants to be friends with. And that's going to be tough. Well, she's already friends with Tater, as in Tot, so Tater did not put up a complaint marker, but everyone else... Who does she like the best? Now, a lot of people last time, I don't know if I talked about this or not, were taking time markers from Watermelon because Watermelon had the most. And if you have to take time markers out of the pot and there's none left, you can just take from someone else. So people were poaching her time markers. So that's probably going to figure in to who she chooses. So Watermelon picked Kaz and Cat and Cowboy. Um, after that... Kaz and Kat jumped out. Remember last time Taters and Tot had taken some time from her? Well, she just took it back. Uh, she's close to being able to get a couple of goals. She needs some fat here, another friend here. Then she has to get a couple babies. Um, so that's going to be a little trickier for her. But she's getting close. A kind move uh, from Cowboy. He outbid um, Smudge for the student job. But then when Smudge complained with his telephone marker, he decided to take Smudge along. So that was a nice consolation. Um, kind man, that cowboy. Everyone stepped out except for Tater and Tot, so she had the run of the table. There were maybe like eight cards out here. Not a lot of cards got taken, this, this life phase. Uh, she's only going to be able to qualify for these two. The effect is she's going to get some friendship out of it, which is pretty nice. No one can call in to, to become her friend, so she's got to pick neutral people. So first, how this is going to work is she's going to, she's not married, so she's going to do Ayn Brat Straub Fangen uh, to fall in love with someone. Even though she just came out of the closet, actually, she's going to pick a male because she wants a new friend. She doesn't really care, and I think she'll pick Frankie. She likes his style. You can't really see Frankie there. So they're going to be married. Um, now this is a sensitive marriage right now. It could still break up. If it moves over here, then she's stuck with him, from what I understand. That's going to give her the alcohol she needs as well. Um, and I think that's all with that card. That's a B that goes over here. The alcohol is going to let her do this, get some sickness. And then also another friend. This doesn't do anything. This would just get rid of her drug use, but she already did that. Which is unfortunate. Um, she needs the drug use to go to the commune, but she figures she can get some drugs later. So that's going to give her a new friend. I think she'll go ahead and take Oliver as a new friend. Now she just needs one more friend and some drug use to start her commune. After Smudge stepped out and Watermelon won a competitive bid against Taters and Tot for this, this party... Uh, Cowboy won his own party in a competitive bid, got himself that coveted sadness he needed, and a new friend. So uh, he had a choice between people to, to take. Uh, he took Taters and Ty. He felt kind of bad for her for losing her thing, and also for, um, I forget what the other reason was. Uh, anyway, he took her along, and now it's going to be Sid's turn, and that's what's going on. Things are heating up. The game could be over before we know it. Or it could go on longer. We'll see. Sid is meeting a stranger and falling in love. That's going to destroy her relationship with Smudge. They are now ex-lovers, which is actually something they both, both like. Uh, they're ex-spouses, actually. So, pretty good. She needs someone new to be her spouse. I don't think anyone particularly desires that right now. Cowboy does need to break up with Frock at some point, but he would like to meet these requirements first. So I think it's going to be someone new. Um, 
Maybe she'll choose Frank. Just as a little dig on Tater. So he's now an X. And she's just going to be a total home wrecker. Right there. They met, love at first sight. I'm sorry, Taters and Tot, Frock must leave you. And that's how it went. All right, let's look at things with regard to friendship. Everyone's got their friendship needs except for poor Sid. That's why she's face down, stepped out of the round. Um, there was, she could have auctioned up a card and stayed in it to try and uh, use a complaint to get a friend, which is maybe what she should have done, but I think she's feeling a little rejected right now. Um, let's see, Cowboy got this goal. Watermelon has gotten her fourth goal, so she's still a little ways off from getting her final one. She needs a wisdom, a fatness, and that's it. If she gets a wisdom and a fatness, she can be winning this game, and that is amazing. Let's go on to Kaz and Cat. Kaz and Cat took a goal. Um, I'm thinking how we'll do the scoring at the end is based on how many goals they've achieved. So even if you don't get the most, it's still good to have as many as you can. Uh, she also took away Oliver, who had just started seeing Watermelon, thinking maybe that would interfere with Watermelon's goal. Unfortunately for Kaz and Cat, it does not. Tater as in Tot and Cowboy both need drugs, prompting a huge bidding war over the drugs. Cowboy has six on the table. Tater is entitled only has seven left. If she takes it, then she is she's done. Her her plan though relies on getting the drugs. She was thinking, get the drugs, get the sadness. She can knock out both of these goals and then um, go for the sex maniac. Uh, she's one off. She'd be one off from that at that point. So she's kind of got a long shot. She's gonna pass, giving it to Cowboy for six. It's kind of a game changer for both of them. Cowboy's getting really fat, but at least he has some drugs, and then he'll be able to be a freak on his turn, which is right now. Um, I think it behooves him to wait to auction anything, because he only has one time left. That gets rid of his alcohol if he had any, but he doesn't, so there we go. Let's go on to Sid. Sid's in rough shape. Unfortunately, there's no fat on the table for watermelon, but did she, she did just get the wisdom she needs. It cost her five time, though. She got in a bidding war with Smudge, who was actually not in it for the wisdom. He was in it for the sadness, looking for a sick in his uh, psych psychiatry institution, which is kind of similar to this card there, too. They both have Harvey's. Kaz and Cat has just three times. She's looking at the board. She needs to break it off with Oliver. She has to find a way to do it. The only way to do it is to mar to elope with him first and then break up. Um, so she's just going to... She has two choices, really. She could just um, go ahead and pass, get the time for later, which might not be a bad choice. Um... She could take a lot of time from Watermelon there because there's only... Oh, no, there's a lot in the bank. I just have it scattered around. Never mind. So she could... I think she might try to do that just because it seems like the game is going to be over soon to her. So she's going to put this up for bid for one. She's going to pass if anyone bids more than one, though. So we'll have to see if anyone wants to get married. Maybe, no, I don't think Smudge does because he does not want a relationship right now. We'll see. Yeah, Sid is going to take it for two. She needs to get her relationships broken up so she can um, be sadder, I guess. All right. The table is breathing a huge sigh of relief. Um, Taters and Tot ducked out. She didn't have anything she could do having lost out on the drugs. Um, cowboy. He got his freak card, but he bowed out as well. Uh, Sid, she got a goal finally. She hasn't gotten one since puberty. And then Watermelon stepped out. That get, that made everyone a lot feel a lot more comfortable. There's going to be at least another life phase, they're thinking, unless someone else goes out. But could be. Could be. You can go boom, 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 boom in this game. You know, it's one of those games you can do all those booms in a row. And Smudge is starting to do that boom, 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 boom. Last turn he got the gaming group. Now he's single and unhappy. Um, gets some more alcohol. That's going to let him get the um, an anonymous al alcoholic, I think. And it's just him and Sid left. Sid's going to get a divorce. That's something she needs for one of her goals. And it also helps her get some money, which she needs um, to be a millionaire. 
which uh, I guess gives you sadness. It's interesting, this, this goal here, millionaire, gives you sadness, but if you get enough money, if you get more than three money, so I guess if you become a billionaire, you lose your sadness. So, yeah, interesting choice. Here we go, we'll become this anonymous alcoholic, which will give him a little bit of sickness. And then back over to her. Let's see. She can't meet any of her goals right now. She needs one more broken relationship. Um, and I don't think it counts if she falls back in love with the birth. She they get back together again. So I don't think there's anything that, that that's that useful for her. She's gonna duck out. People are stealing time from watermelon because she is close to winning. Back over to Smudge. Smudge will become anorexic, I think, for the cost of one time. It's going to give him a sadness that he needs. And anything else on here? I don't think so. I don't think so. So that's going to do it for this episode of Real People Multigame Solitaire Mega Tournament. Next time, I'm thinking we'll probably be finishing up Feast Fruit and Feta Fetin. And then we'll go on to Pendragon after that. I just got that in the mail. I'm excited to give it a try.